Hey guys, welcome to Cantor's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make chicken tacos and fresh guacamole. So let's get started. So we're going to need taco shells, avocados, limes, spring onions, sour cream, garlic powder, tomatoes, salt, paprika, onions, cheddar cheese and coriander. So I've already diced the chicken. I tend to take the skin off as a healthier option but you can keep the skin on for more flavour. So we're going to go ahead and season the chicken and first we're going to add some paprika a bit of salt, garlic, and I always add pepper for that extra kick. So I'm going to go ahead and mix that. Now I love flavour, so I usually add quite a lot of seasoning, but you can go ahead and add as much as you want. So now that's all mixed in, we need to heat up our pan. So get the flame to a medium heat. Now add oil to the pan. So whilst that's heating up, I'm just going to cut a bit of coriander. So this doesn't have to be cut up perfectly, just roughly chopped will be fine. So now I'm going to take the onions and tomatoes over to the pan. So we need to saute the onions and cook them until they become translucent. And then we need to add our tomato and then our coriander. Add the chicken and mix it all in to make sure that everything is coated with the seasoning. Remember that when you cut the chicken, it will cook a lot quicker. So reduce the heat to a medium low temperature. So whilst that's cooking, I'm going to get started on the taco shells. For today I'm using oven baked taco shells because they're really quick and easy and they're crunchy just the way I like them. Some people like them soft but it's completely up to you. So all I have to do is get my taco shells and line them up on a baking tray covered with foil and I'm going to put them in the oven just for a few minutes and they'll be ready. And now I'm going to put them in the oven. Now onto the guacamole. First we're going to prepare the avocado by removing the seed which I've already done and scooping out the inside. Next we're going to add our onions, a bit of spring onion, tomato, and a bit of coriander. Don't forget a pinch of salt. And pepper for that extra kick. And lastly, a squeeze of lime. And now we're going to mash that all together until it's nice and smooth. Now I absolutely love to make tacos for friends and family because they're just so quick and easy to make and they're absolutely delicious. So everyone loves them. So our guacamole is pretty much done, but the most important part of cooking is the tasting of course. So let's just taste that to make sure it's perfect. I think a bit more salt. Mmm, that's nice and yummy. Now the chicken and the taco shells are done, it's time to plate them up. First add the chicken. Then add a layer of cheese.
Next add a dollop of sour cream. And lastly your guacamole. Perfect. Now that's all done guys, I'm going to go off and enjoy these. Thank you so much for joining me. See you next time. To get your hands on this delicious recipe and more, visit www.cantorskitchen.com.